Hi, I'm Vince Petrano. And I'm Susan Kim, starting off with an apology from UW's chancellor as she explained to staff that layoffs are coming. In a late night meeting in Madison last night, Rebecca Blank said that the layoffs are unavoidable under Governor Scott Walker's plan to cut $300 million from the UW system budget. Madison campus is set to lose about $90 million by July. If I eliminated the five smallest schools here at the university, simply completely shut down, gave no more money to and closed the schools of business, law, nursing, pharmacy, and veterinary medicine, we would not quite fill the hole for that $90 million. We're not going to do that, but it's a sense of what the magnitude of these cuts are. Layoffs will be decided based on seniority, and they could start as early as April. A Sheboygan alderman is stepping down now after being charged with sexually assaulting a child. The Sheboygan Press reports that Kevin Matichek has submitted a letter of resignation. He does not admit guilt, but says he does not want to, quote, detract from city business. Matichek is accused of having sex with a 14-year-old boy. He is due back in court next week. A police chase led to the discovery of a missing 16-year-old Washington County girl. She was the passenger in a car that was heading into oncoming traffic going 85 miles an hour. Police were going to arrest the driver for shoplifting and eluding police before he took off. They were caught after the driver crashed into squad cars. Police tell us the girl knows the driver and was not being held against her will. They were both taken into custody. A big honor for two Oak Creek police officers. They received the Medal of Valor for their heroic actions during the Sikh Temple Massacre. Officer Sam Lenda and Lieutenant Brian Murphy were honored in Washington, D.C. Lieutenant Murphy was shot more than a dozen times, and Officer Lenda helped stop the gunman. Pretty cool incentive for MPS high school students. The Bucks are offering courtside seats to students who have good grades, good attendance, and are involved in after-school activities. The two students will get the honor every month. Those seats usually cost fans hundreds of dollars. Well, the cold air moved in overnight as expected. After being in the 30s yesterday, you're waking up to temperatures in the single digits above and below zero across the state. As cold as eight below in Superior, seven above in Milwaukee, and the temperature continues to drop. We'll probably drop a couple more degrees before we start to warm up, a little warm up during the daytime hours. Wind chills are anywhere from 10 to 20 below zero across the state. So we had a little bit of cloud cover overnight with some few flurries. And then once the clouds cleared out, the temperature then dropped pretty quickly into the single digits around the area. We're talking 25 to 30 degrees colder this morning than we were yesterday morning. And that's just the actual temperature, not including the wind chill. You factor that in, you're talking about a 40 degree difference. Temperatures are in the single digits across the area. Two in Dells, five in Waukesha and Watertown, seven Racine and right here in Milwaukee. You can see that there's a cloud cover out over the lake. That's the lake effect snow bands that are heading in the opposite direction of us because of that northwesterly wind. The steam out over the lake indicating it is cold and it is four in Port Washington. Wind out of the northwest at around 19 gusting at times this morning close to 40 miles per hour. 36 at this hour in Port, 33 in Milwaukee and 36 down towards Lake Geneva. That is putting those wind chills anywhere from 10 to 20 below zero this morning and the wind chills will stay below zero all day between 5 and 10 below despite the actual temperatures getting up to around 10 to 12 degrees even 14 down towards Kenosha well below the normal of 32 and the winds will slowly begin to diminish throughout the afternoon uh, 10 to 20 by around 3 or 4 o'clock this afternoon so that's some good news with the wind chills still well below zero Winds will be 5 to 10 tonight. Clouds will increase. Temperatures drop into the single digits, but wind chills still anywhere from 5 to 10 below. And then temperatures slowly beginning to rise towards sunrise with that southwesterly wind. More sunshine today and the winds start to lighten up as high pressure gets closer to us. That'll quickly move out of here, though. And then this weak storm system move in here with clouds and some flurries and very light snow during the day on Friday. Any accumulation would be a dusting to maybe a half inch at best. And then behind this front for Saturday, very strong winds up to 40 miles per hour and even colder temperatures. Here's the pattern for the next week. Cold air coming in for this weekend. It stays chilly next week, and then we could even see a colder shot of air midweek next week into the weekend. So get used to the cold. It's with us, it looks like, for the time being. So the temperatures around here for the next couple of days, chilly. Today, a high of 11 degrees despite the sunshine. Wind chills 5 to 10 below. Then for tonight, Clouds will increase a temperature of four with wind chills once again to about 10 below zero. The seven day forecast, chilly conditions. It does warm up to 22 on Friday with the clouds and the light snow, less than an inch of accumulation. 10 degrees on Saturday with a 40 mile per hour wind, five below Sunday morning, and we'll stay in the teens and 20s all of next week.